adventure. Many of you might already be familiar with him. This is Geralt of Rivia, mm -hmm. our main protagonist. He's a witcher, one of a dying cast. He's a trained monster slayer. As John mentioned before, he's back from a hunt. He's carrying a mighty trophy on the left of the saddle. So we saw that from the trailer yesterday, or from the d demo. Exactly. So we are taking that to Novigrad. At this point, players are several hours into the game, so they'll be mostly familiar with how the game handles. And again, as we mentioned, we're closing in on the city of Novigrad, the biggest city in the world of The Witcher 3. We're going to meet a man called Dijkstra. He used to be the head of Redanian intelligence. Now he's a spy and a very powerful mobster. We got a bunch of things to talk about here. Like, uh, if you get close, there's several thousand inhabitants in the city. Buildings made of bricks, paved city streets, warehouses, all desirable guilds and artisans, banks, the breathtaking Temple Isle, inns, brothels, and the largest seaport, seaport in the north. This is Novigrad. It's a living, breathing ecosystem of the several thousand people living in its corners. Everyone in the city, thugs, beggars, uh, lords and loiterers and peasants have their day and time activities and they make all four districts of the city a unique and characteristic place, worlds within a world to explore. And of course, this is a place which is ripe with quests. And you should be careful, of course, and pay attention to what you pick, because if you pick a quest, another might perish. Hmm. Your actions and choices have a great effect on the course of the adventure you're taking. But if we were to talk about all the cloak and dagger gameplay the city has to offer, we would be sitting here like <laughs> all day long. For example, uh, if you look to the other side of the canal, there's that small fish market there, and of course, you can get fish there. But if you meet the right people, and if you pay the right prices, you can get some real nice juicy contraband yeah. armor, weapons and secret ingredients uh, that will aid you in your adventure. So we're going to continue now. Try not to hit the passers by on the street. I love the way his hair bounces. That's a really nice detail. It's really nice. We, play, uh, we pay a lot of attention to all the composition. Our team is like a constant lookout for where to place things. Uh, big trees, buildings, and whatever, so there's never a point in the game with a bad point of view. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're getting close to the spot where we are supposed to talk to Dijkstra, like he was the one who ordered the Griffin to be slain, and we have obviously delivered our part of the deal, now it's his time to pay us with information. This is a brothel. Fancy that mud, like. Oh yeah. <laughs> there are many more like it in the city, there's an entire district for them. I'm worried that we left our griffin head back there. Is someone going to steal it? No. Okay. We are formidable. <laughs> no one dares steal from Geralt. You gotcha. <laughs> There's our guy. Cutscene. Greetings, Dijkstra. How's your health? You're late. Fulfilling my end of the bargain. Brought you the head, just like you wanted. It's up to myself. So you're on main storyline here, and uh, so the game is like 50 hours main storyline. 50 hours of open world. And so it's, uh, this is right on the main storyline path. Uh, we can't give away too much, but at least it's kind of like a preview of what you're gonna, the kind of like storytelling you're gonna see on the main story, in the main story path. there in the company of a creature that goes by the name of Johnny. Don't laugh, but to believe the witness's tale, this being looks a bit like a child and lives in some burrow in the woods. Probably a bucket or a leaf. She's in family. Geralt, is she who I think she is? Thanks, Dijkstra. That was going well spent. Nice to Great. Time I was on my way. All right, so we got a bit more information about the person Geralt is looking for. She's looking for a certain ashen-haired girl. This information alone is <laughs> probably strong enough to get all fans like uh, crazy about the new information we can get in the game. All right, so since we have a limited time here at the, the IGN stage, we're very close to conclude our uh, little demonstration here, uh, and we're gonna say goodbye to the city with a nice view from that bridge over there. So again, the city is huge. We got four districts, uh, but uh, unique characteristics. The rich district, the poor district, the harbor district, of course, and the district that's gonna be pretty popular, the brothel district. Mm. All right, so this is the outskirts. That's where the adventure begins to the south, and 
Yeah, this is Novigrad. And just a reminder, everything you see in this world, you can actually travel to. It's a big open world gaming experience. So it's, it's I'm I'm the type of gamer that tries to do side quests before story missions, so I have a feeling I'm going to be very distracted constantly yeah. playing this you game. You have yeah. plenty of opportunities in this region and basically every region in the game to do that. Awesome, okay, it looks beautiful. Does that wrap up our, the demo part? That's the demo part, so let's exactly. uh, maybe shift the rest, thing. Yeah. yeah. The rest you will see in the full game. Wow, it looks amazing. Out February 25th, 2015, is that correct? February 25th. Sorry, 25th, yeah. Uh, I think before we go, we're going to watch the most recent trailer.